Hi, and today we're going to look at triplets. Now, triplets can be as hard or as simple as you want them to be. For every subdivision, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, there is a triplet equivalent. Okay, now, the quarter note equivalent is difficult. The sixteenth note equivalent is, well, let's call that intermediate. And the eighth note equivalent is simple. I'll give you a quick idea of eighth note triplets and show you what can be done with them. See, they sound quite cool, they sound quite nice, and they do break it up from the normal straight eighth patterns that you play on fills and things like that. So, triplets. Eighth note triplets are counted as one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, which is fine, it's fine, until you get up to kind of tempos like Try saying one triplet, two trip, one triplet, two triplet, two triplet. Oh, yeah, I can't. It's just a tongue twister. I don't know whether it's me. You might be able to do it. I cannot do it. So what I tend to do is I tend to, tend to use hickory dickory, hickory dickory, hickory dickory, hickory dickory. Okay. So then you can go at higher tempos. You can go hickory dickory, hickory dickory, hickory dickory, hickory dickory. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. Okay. So there is a click there. It's nice and slow, 80 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. So we've got to get three hits for every click. Now, to help keep yourself in time when you're first doing these triplets, why don't you accent the one, two, three, and four? So you end up with one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, like this. Okay, nice and easy. So, if we take that one that we've just accented, once you're comfortable with that, let's take that one and let's put, put one, two, three, and four, the accents, let's try and put them on the tom-toms, see what we end up with. One, two, three, four. It's nice and easy. It's nice and easy. Just get used to it. Don't rush it. And remember, it's not, it's not a race. It's not a race. You've got all the time in the world. So, one triplet, two triplet. Now I'm using two tom-toms here, just so you can hear the two the different sounds. And I'm using tom-tom two with my right hand and tom-tom one with my left hand. And the only reason I'm using those two tom-toms is because that's the one that's in front of that arm, and that's the one that's in front of that arm. You can use any two tom-toms. Make it difficult for yourself. <laughs> Try not to cross your arms though, because it gets really difficult. Once you've practiced that, and you're comfortable with it, Try bringing those one, two, three, and four, the bits you're playing on the tom-toms, try taking them up onto the cymbals. If you've got more than one, sim one crash cymbal, use them, because the sound difference makes it sound really nice. Now don't forget, underneath the crash cymbals, it always sounds nicer if you've got a bass drum as well. Okay, so, 
One triplet, two triplet, hickory dickory. Nice and easy, eh? So now you've got three different ways of playing the triplets. And if you want to use them as a fill, remember we're playing three hits for every beat. So if you're going to do a, a, a four beat fill, a one bar fill, you need four lots of three. Digga -di, digga -di, digga -di, digga digga There you go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? So we've got four drums. Four beats, let's do one beat on each drum for the fill. So we're going to do three bars of pattern, one bar of fill. Okay, so let's try it. There you go. Triplets. Triplets uses a fill. So those are eighth note triplets. Quaver triplets. Okay, quavers. The next ones are the sixteenth notes, the semi-quaver triplets. And after that you get the crotchet triplets, the quarter note triplets. And they, they are quite hard. They are quite hard. And what I'll do is I'll do a more in-depth video on those two, if, if that's what you like. If you like this video on, on triplets and you want me to do a more in-depth one on quarters and sixteenths, let us know in the comments and um, I'll put a video together for, for, for quarter note triplets and for sixteenth note triplets. Sticking with the eighths for now, let's play a pattern. So just doing our triplets, one trip Flip, two, trip, flip, three, trip, flip, four, trip, flip. What if we did right hand on the ride cymbal, left hand on the snare drum? Now, if we put a couple of bass drums on. doing with my hands is going one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, just making it sound a little more in, a bit more interesting. So I put, I got my, my right foot, my bass drum foot to follow my right hand when I was doing the, but not when I was doing the left hand led one. Okay, so I end up with bass drum. So if we do three bars of that, and then a triplet fill, you end up with... And there we are, eighth note triplets. You can take it as far as you like with them. Experiment. A good thing to do is to learn these things slowly. So we could play them instead of going right, left, 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 right, left. An alternative way of playing them would be right, left, left, right, left, left, or left, right, right, left, right, right. That would give us. But you have to remember they're still triplets, so they're still going to go hickory, dickory, dum da da, dum da da. Let's move it around the drums. It's quite nice. 
What about if we do it with our feet? Here's a nice exercise for you if you want to try and make it difficult for yourself. Get your foot, feet going left, right, right on that triplet. And your hands going right, left, left on this triplet. At the same time. Haha, <laughs> it's hard. Let's see if I can do it properly. There you go. Practice that slowly at first. So, plenty of things to practice with the eighth note triplets. There's playing them on the snare drum, taking them up to the tom toms, putting them on the crash cymbals, using them as a fill, using them as a pattern. Using them as an independence exercise. So that's eighth note triplets. Quarter note triplets and sixteenth note triplets are a little bit harder. Sixteenth note triplets out of the two are the easiest. Um, if we listen to a click. Semi-quaver triplet, a 16th note triplet, would be six hits, six subdivisions of each click. There you go. Digga da 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 digga hickory dickory, hickory dickory, hickory dickory, hickory dickory, hickory dickory. So if I get my you might hear this better than the click. That's the 16th note triplets, sometimes known as sextuplets, because there's six of them. Digga da digga da digga da digga da. They sound quite nice. Okay, so they sound quite nice as a fill as well. The quarter note triplets, and I will, I do, I will do a video on the quarters and the sixteenths, so we can go a bit more in depth into them. The quarter note triplets. The quaver, uh, crotchet triplets is one and a half hits for every click. It's really hard to explain. There are people out there who have done videos on YouTube that explain this a lot better than I ever could. The easy way to play them, the way to get them into your head, okay, so you can hear them, start to hear them, is if I have a click. And I play eighth note triplets to it. Hickory dickory, hickory dickory. But I only use one hand on the drum and one hand on my lap. What you hear on the drum is your, your crotchet triplet. What you hear on the drum is your crotchet triplets. Right? So.
As I say, I'll do a video and go into those in a bit more depth because they are quite tricky. But if you want to just get, get them so you can hear them, play eight note triplets, one handed. That's a quarter note triplet. I hope you found that useful. If you like it, subscribe, like us on Facebook, and hopefully I'll be putting a lot more of these videos together. Um, let us know what you think. Next video. Bye.